on the occasion of international nurses day we have with us silke mayer she has worked as a nurse for 26 years she started her career working in a government hospital then she worked for the majority of her career in a private hospital and now she works as a healthcare worker on a cruise ship hello hello rahi so i would just like to get a basic understanding of what the condition of the nursing community is in south africa right now well i uh, i think in south africa as it is probably worldwide um things are not so easy uh you know nurses um work long hours the pay is fair i guess depending on where exactly you work um it is a thankless job really um and for most of the time i would say it's what you make of it yourself um in amongst all the stresses of long hours um sometimes dangerous situations um and short of shortage of staff of course is always the big thing so it is tough okay um so there is uh there are certain reports which say that Af- south africa is facing a nursing crisis so what is this crisis about i think it has been for many years that we really just aren't enough um our our shifts are staffed with minimum people and yet we have to maintain the same workload that comes in i've uh, really experienced that myself you know that you end up working in an intensive care unit where i've been all of my years of nursing basically um looking after critical um critically ill people that are possibly unstable but also ma- just having had major surgery um and you having to cope with not just one of these kind of cases but maybe even two or three on any given day all right uh, so the the report says there has been a shortage of more than 44700 nursing staff in south africa since 2010 the supply of qualified nursing staff has shrunk by 40% so is there a reason that there is such a shrinking in it is such a reduce in why nurses in the that people are just not joining the community yeah you know it's really just my personal opinion but i i do believe that is uh, my generation when we were choosing careers you know nursing was something that was quite popular um and i think that now with with the millennials and really the new generations coming up nursing's not an attractive career you know you don't make money you have to do things that really if if you're not a, a a compassionate kind of person and you're kind of born with that quality of wanting to be a caregiver you're not going to choose a career like this you know and i think you know in our kind of nurses our generation people are retiring or people are simply just tired they're leaving and i think that the nursing schools are probably lagging behind trying to recruit enough people to um to try and 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 make up that kind of a number also i think a lot of nurses opt to work overseas like i in the end did 9 years ago yeah why did you take that decision why would nurses prefer to work overseas rather than in south africa well it's you make more money obviously um that would be probably the first factor and also you know i personally i got tired of all of that stress long hours 12 13 14 hour shifts on a day sometimes seven days a week um you know you you i, I yearn for something within my profession that would be easier um and and that would give me something more than just always taking from me are there associations or are there laws on behalf of the government which tries to help nurses well you know we are basically um linked to the south african nursing council they maintain the standards of nursing education and practice um and i grew up with very much respecting the law that they set down our scope of practice which is the realm within which we practice so yes we would want to uphold that um 
I, I think that, you know, and then of course you work under the, the, the um, standards of operating procedures that the hospital lays down. So, com you know, together with those two sort of um, legal aspects, you would then practice your nursing. So, yes, I think we're pretty well covered as long as you work within that, that law, you know, as a nurse. So you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. What kind of respect do you think that the nursing profession should get or gets now? You know, I always say that unless you have been ill and in a hospital situation or you've had somebody that has been ill, what it, you, unless you've had some or other experience with nurses, you actually will never be able to respect them the way they need to be respected. Honestly, I, when I have rude people around me, I always think, yes, until you are lying in one of my beds and you realize who I am and what I can do. And, um, you know, we have this little standing joke, you know, with, with people like, just remember, you know, the nurses choose the size of the needle in the end. But no, it's not that, but it's, it's until you have... Uh, you, you really, your life is in somebody's hands and that nurse stands there and you have somebody there that is actually being kind and that is talking you through your anxiety due to your illness and that's actually there for you. You started your career in a government hospital and then you moved to a private hospital. In South Africa, what is the difference in treatments of, of nurses in government and private? You know, in a private hospital, you have everything you need. You have all the stock you need. You have all the medication you need. You have the supplies you need. And I know that that is not the case in a in a government hospital. You know, it's 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 just a, a lot of basic things that are missing. You know, basic things like fresh, clean linen on every bed is not available, and I feel that should be available in a hospital. You know. Um, just the basics of caring for people. You know, we used to be able to have some kind of hand creams or kind of toiletries that we could use on our patients. That is no longer like that. So, and, and the people that you're nursing there are not obviously having all of these supplies themselves because they come from poorer backgrounds. Um, the, the range of medication is limited. So, you know, you wouldn't find every option. You basically have to use what you have. Uh, you, you know, you, you, your patient care and even for the doctors, the prescriptions evolve around what is available and not necessarily what is needed or what is a better option. Okay. So now that you work on a cruise ship, you interact with a lot of health, health workers from other nationalities. Have you been able to understand the differences between you being a nurse in South Africa and a nurse from other countries? Actually, you know, I think that in this day and age, there really is no difference. In fact, it, it kind of gives me um, a real satisfaction to see that we are all very respectable, highly qualified people, even though we do come from all over the world. Um, but having said that, I must also just say that, you know, it, it, it's from the selective, selective countries, you know, uh, because they're looking for a certain standard. If we could just manage to be kind to each other every single day, not just at our workplace, but also with our families, with people we meet, I think that is the biggest thing. In amongst all the hardships and the turmoils and the fatigue that you have at, at you know, the end of some of the days, try to be, remain kind to people. I feel that that makes, that makes it easier. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for giving us your time and your valuable insight into what it is, what you need to be a nurse. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for having me.